TFE Global is here today out in Desert Center, California with Mike Reardon at FBI Farms. We're making a delivery of our Type 90 Hatrofa Extraction Press. So Mike, tell us a little bit about what's going on today. Um, as you know, with having a farm in Costa Rica, most of my co-op members are in Colombia. They don't have the advantages we do with all the buildings and power almost everywhere. You have to be very remote. Today we're setting up outside um, to basically show how easy it is to set the press anywhere. They can take this, run it off a generator, off the back of a tractor, off a diesel generator. Assembly is uh, easy, basic tools, a wrench and an Allen wrench. It took about five, ten minutes. But it is key, Mike, what you're talking about is having that self-sustainability to be able to run a press anywhere, anytime. Yeah. With a portable generator that's actually being self-fed from the biodiesel. From the biodiesel. On the co-op members, we do have larger co-op members and smaller members. Yeah. The larger members who can afford you know, the presses can mobily go to the smaller farms and not have to worry about the logistics of trucking. You can see how small this unit is and to move around tons and tons of seed it's not cost effective, you're just moving this. Um, we love it, um, and here we are ready to go to press Jatropha. So let's press some Jatropha. Look at that, now that's some seed cake. You know, one of the things that, um, that I've found working with these machines is that they like to work. They, they like to be running. It's self-lubricating with the oil. Once you get it configured properly based on the type of feedstock, it wants to run 24-7. It's, it's a great feature. It's a very simple machine. It's not a lot of uh, complexity to it, and it, it, it does exactly what we want it to do. Okay, after a quick uh, screen filter, we ended up with about uh, two liters of oil, uh, Hatrofa oil. Let's go put it in my brand new Chevy. All right, we'll get this last little bit in here. All right, well that ought to do it. All right, let's take it for a drive. 